In the previous video, we worked at a, a compound interest problem where the investment was compounded annually for three years. And this wasn't too bad to work at. Uh, we had only three calculations to make. Uh, but doing compound interest problems uh, step by step can be tiresome if you have uh, many periods to consider. Okay, so for example, if you have uh, monthly compounding for 20 years, then uh, that would require 240 calculations, and that would be quite a chore. Uh, so what we're going to do now is to work out a formula that will give us the compound amount after any number of periods. So suppose we have a certain principal P which is on deposit at compound interest with a rate of I per period for N periods. And I've got a little chart here that will help us keep track of what's going on. So in the first period, after the first period, we earn some interest. And it's just the original principal times the interest rate. The time is just one because this is interest rate per period. Okay, so then we add that in to get the uh, compound amount. We add that to the original principal, and we get A is equal to P times 1 plus I. Okay, this now becomes the principal in the second period. And so the interest that we earn in the second period is P times 1 plus I times I. And then if we add that interest in, Then we get another factor of 1 plus i, and that can be simplified to p times 1 plus i raised to the second power. So then this amount now becomes the principal in our third period, p times 1 plus i to the second power, and then again multiplied by i to get the interest for the third period add back to the principal and we have another factor of 1 plus i and so that condenses the formula down to p times 1 plus i raised to the third power. So I think you can see the pattern developing now. After n periods we're going to have p times 1 plus i raised to the n power. And in fact that's what happens and so this is our general formula for the compound amount for principal P invested at compound interest at rate I per period for N periods. Okay, so for example, let's work out the compound amount for the previous example using our formula. Okay, so you remember that we had a, a worksheet that looked a little like this. And after three steps, we ended up with 2,662. Let's now work it out using the compound amount formula. Okay, so we have A is equal to P, which is our original 2,000. And then we have... Um, 1 plus, and our i is 0 0.1, 0 if you like, and then we have to raise that to the third power. Okay. 
Okay, so this is 2,000 times. And then, uh, in order to raise numbers to a power on your scientific calculator, you're going to need this key right here. And that's what we use for that uh, purpose. So, and I will compute that first, 1.1 raised to the third power. one point three three one and okay, now we multiply that by our principal times two thousand and the answer is two thousand six hundred sixty two Okay, so you see that the answer that we get by using our formula exactly matches the answer that we got working it out step by step.